Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on the can filling station I put together. The inspiration for this setup actually came from low oxygen brewing setup, except that he had his attached to his can seamer. With my seamer, that wasn't really possible because the handle that controls the rollers would be in the way since I'm right handed. I watched the very few videos on YouTube that are out there of people using a beer gun to can their beers. I noticed that most of the people had their beer gun laying down in a bucket of sanitizer and always had to pick it back up and fill the beer at an awkward angle. I also watched videos on people that had created automated canning lines at home and I watched countless videos of commercial fillers. With that, I knew I should have something that would create a seat for the gun so I can pull it up and out of the can and be able to just hold my hand on top of the gun and push it down to fill. I headed out to my local hardware store to find something that would stand alone, hold the beer gun, and be easy to clean. After some time looking around the hardware shop, I found these bins. The bin on the bottom is a picking bin intended for sorting nuts and bolts on a workbench. It has a lowered edge, which I thought would make it easy to add and remove the cans while leaving enough depth to catch any overflowing foam. The next bin is one that needed to be long enough to fit 500 mil cans and hold the beer gun high enough that it wouldn't touch the bottom of the can at its lowest point but still be all the way inside the can. I found this storage bin sits inside of the pluck bin perfectly. I cut the bottom of the storage bin off so it would sit flush inside and so the edge wouldn't interfere when placing the can inside. Alright, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. For the seat and the pass-through, I just used a bunch of random pieces I had laying around that I wasn't using. The pass-through is made of two barbs that came with my jaded Hydra, and they keep the gun from wobbling around. The seat of the gun is made from a few things. One is the SS Brutech Trub Dam that's inserted into the silicone rubber piece for the SS Brutech sparge arm. Wedged in between the two is a piece of hard rubber with a lot of electrical tape. This prevents the trub dam from being pushed into the rubber holder any further to keep the beer gun height in the can perfect. And that's pretty much it. It really is quite the MacGyver job. So far I've run around 800 cans through my little setup and I found it works great. I've talked with some 3D printing friends about printing something similar, but that just hasn't come about yet. This works great for me though, and to be honest, if it ain't broke, don't fix it.